What is going on guys? I'm super excited because today we got some uh, some type X tails, some uh, some kooky tails, whatever you want to call them. We got some we're missing a couple things for them like the pigtails and the bulbs and this piece here, this center piece we're missing as well. I actually have that on the way, so we're gonna take that off and leave it off. But ever since getting this car, I've been searching and searching and searching for decent priced kooky tail lights. And I was like, okay, there's none that are decently priced anywhere. So I'm just going to go straight to Nissan and order them from them. And then they'll be brand new and they'll be all nice and shiny and everything. And they'll just be brand new, just a brand new car part from 1991. So I was like, all right, let's just bite the bullet, get them from Nissan. Yeah, it's more expensive, but they're brand new and they'll be perfect condition. Well, I did do that actually the beginning of February and it is now the beginning of April. In the beginning of February, I ordered the Type-X taillights from Nissan. So it's the two taillights, the centerpiece, this piece, and the lock. And it comes with all the hardware, it comes with the harness, the bulbs, everything ready to go. It said when I was buying it that it usually ships within the next like three business days. So I was like, okay, I'm ordering it on a Thursday, so it'll probably ship Monday or Tuesday, and then I'll get, the, get it in like a week because it was actually from FR Sport, which is in the US, I believe they're actually in California. Could be wrong though. On their website, it showed that they had them in stock. So I was like, awesome, that's even better. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm paying more, but it'll, they'll get here quicker and, and everything will be great. And then the next day they emailed me and they said, yeah, everything's on back order. So it's going to take four to six weeks to get everything. And I was like, really? Like that sucks. Like I want to get rid of these ugly stock taillights and throw some nice type X taillights on. But I was like, all right, you know what? It's, it's four to six weeks. That's a month at month, a month to month and a half. That's not the biggest deal. Like like it'll be fine, we can wait. It's it's not like an urgent issue. Like we can stay with the stock ugly ones for a little bit longer. About four to five weeks go by and I'm like, okay, let me email them and see what's going on. And so I emailed them and asked if they showed up yet and if they're ready to ship. And they said, no, we, but we have the center piece, which is that piece there. And this piece, the bottom section that sort of like ties it together. We have those in, but the left, right tail lights are not in as well as the lock is not in but everything else is in they were like um do you want us to just ship those and refund you the rest or what do you want to do and i was like you know what i'll just wait and when they all come you can ship them to me then so they said all right we'll let you know when they come in and then we'll ship them to you and i was like all right cool it can't be much longer right well after just waiting and waiting and waiting and it's actually been just about two months since i ordered them i ordered them on the 9th of february and on the 10th they emailed me and said hey these are on back order well now it's the 2nd of april and still nothing so i was like okay this this is getting ridiculous it's not fr sports fault it's nissan's fault for not being very communicative with fr sport not letting them know what's going on and and then they didn't give them an eta on the, the parts that are remaining so that's kind of fucked up in my opinion like that's not really a way to run a business but hey nissan is a multi-billion dollar company what do i know so i was like okay this is bullshit i'm tired of waiting this this is this is totally unnecessary at this point i just want to get the taillights i'm just like this is dumb i want to get my money back because i paid seven hundred dollars to get the taillights that's not a small amount of money that's that's a lot of money i i was willing to pay at the time because i was like okay i'm gonna get brand new ones and it's not gonna take that long and then i was like okay it's gonna take a little bit longer but they, you know they're brand new they're, they're coming straight from japan straight from nissan after waiting and waiting and waiting it's it's ridiculous it's not worth it to me so scrolling an offer up found these 400 bucks and granted there are missing some stuff we're missing the bottom piece but fr sport i emailed them and said hey cancel everything send me this though we're gonna get refunded for all the other stuff and then we're just gonna have this piece so then i went on ebay and i ordered the pigtails for the bulbs because the guy didn't have any that's actually why he sold these because he was upset that they didn't have any and i understand that i would be upset too and i kind of am but but going from paying the amount that i did for the oem nissan ones to getting still OEM ones. They actually, they're still OEM. You can see right there, Nissan. There's nothing wrong with them. They're, there's a couple scratches, but they're not like like anything major. But anyways, that's the story of the taillights. I've left hints and stuff here and there saying that like, you know, we're not gonna have these very long. And once we get the new taillights and this and that, 
they're here. We're gonna throw them on. Once they get in, we'll have to do the wiring and stuff. And then once this piece comes in, bolt that on. That's super easy. So let's just take these old crappy ones off. It's a bit of a mess back here. Literally my exhaust is back here. You know, I got a grinder in there too, because I'm working here. So it's, it's it's been a storage area essentially. When you have a project car, that's, that's kind of what you do. Look at that. Oh, it's like, it's like gum. The stupid seal around it. It's, oh, that's so nasty. It's interesting, the lock is just sort of there like it, and it kind of sticks out a little bit. Let me see how it fits with this piece. So I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to use that. So my next option for the hood, we're going to do arrow catch hood pins and we might do them on the hatch too. I mean, why not? We can do the locking ones on the hatch, ditch that, put my camera in there, huh? and then put arrow catch hood pins to keep the trunk down and we can have it go like one here, one there, or even one here and one there. And then boom, we're good. That sounds like a plan to me. Cause yeah, that's pretty much in all the way. It doesn't really go in anymore uh, without the screws. The screws will suck it in more obviously. And I'm not going to put those on until we clean that up for sure. All right guys, so here's our pile of old stock, not that good looking tail lights in my opinion. And if we pan up oh <gasps> we got our nice nice super nice 180 sx type x kooky tail lights and they look so good it'll it'll look better when it when we have that piece there so it fills this gap and it's not like a a huge drop off but i mean god damn they're just sitting there like like they're not bolted in or anything right now, but this is a huge huge step up Definitely would recommend getting some for yourself if you have an s13 hatch They're just the best taillights for it in, in my opinion. Some people like the ones where it's pretty much the same as that except The turn signal is clear and I was debating getting those because those are only like 100 bucks, but I always thought that these look so much better, so I waited, and I'm glad I did. Just wait till we get over fenders and our tires stick out, and oh my god. So before I bolt it up, I want to mount the camera in here. I think what we're going to have to do is mount it like here, having it, the wire going through there, and then have the camera sit there. The camera's not too big, so we might have the room to have it just sit in between here and this piece. So we've got the camera in there and I actually put just a shitload of super glue on it. And once that dries, we're gonna see how it holds and then I'm probably gonna put some silicone around it too, just to add a seal and to help hold the camera. And we'll see how it holds up. If you're thinking to yourself, you know what? There's no way that that could work, like at all. Like that's gonna fall off immediately. Well, let me uh, direct your attention to my mirrors. So I put those in, right? And I had to gut everything out. And then I literally got, there's a piece of plywood in there and then the mirror is super glued to that. They have never fallen off. They do that, sure, <laughs> but they've never fallen off, like, at all. The Literally, the only thing holding this on is caulking and some super glue. And I did this, like, almost two years ago, I think, so that's not bad. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good track record for just silicone. So I'm not too worried about this. And worst case scenario, it, it fails, and then we'll have to just use that mounting bracket mount it to here and then it'll never move but i want to try it like this first because that is as close as we're going to get to the actual keyhole uh to replicate that i'll have to like throw in spacers and stuff in here and we could probably make it work but for now let's just see if this works you know let's give it a shot and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but i'm pretty confident in super glue and silicone just because of the mirrors i honestly didn't think they were going to hold up i was like okay this is gonna last like a week, if that. And here we are probably two years later. I'd have to see when, 
when I did that. Damn, like I can't get over these tail lights. There's such an upgrade from that to that. That's a huge, huge upgrade. I can't wait to see them once we have the bulbs and everything in and once we get them wired up. So it's kind of the next day. I wanted the super glue to dry overnight. And I mean, it's pretty solid. Like it's not going anywhere, which is awesome. And it created a nice seal. So let's throw this on, plug it in and see how the view is from the camera. All right, so we got it on and look at that. I think it came out pretty good. You can't even, I mean, like if you really look, then you can tell that it's it's a camera. For the average person, they're not gonna notice, but it gives it a nice OEM look and people wouldn't expect a car from 1991 to have a rear view camera which it shouldn't, but it does now. So that was a, a little bit of a fear for me is that the lights would show through. But the nice thing is that's only when we have the switch pressed. So that would be like when you put it in reverse, those lights will come on. So as of right now, my reverse switch doesn't work. So I either have to get a new one or I can see if I have a K trans back here, I might be able to pull a reverse switch off of there and throw it in and that might work. And if it does, then that'd be great. But if not, then I'll have to either order it or just not run it. And I can have the lights set up on a switch like how I have the camera right now. But what's nice about the camera is I don't have to have that on for the camera to turn on. On the mirror up there where it displays the camera, I can just tap the screen and it'll scroll through the front camera and the rear camera and I can have just the rear camera on. It just won't show the lines for parking, which isn't a big deal. So. I'll almost never have to have that on. So that's good to know that the angle that it comes out at is, is decent and it's not blocked by anything and it's pretty clear so everything's good. The only thing is that light but that's not a big deal. That's, that's little, little details that don't matter. So I'm going to stretch this out one more day just because tomorrow, which is Thursday, this section, that piece is supposed to be here. So I'm hoping that it shows up and we can get that on and it should be black uh, it's supposed to come unpainted so and the picture it looks black so i'm assuming it's going to be similar to that or it'll look like a better version of this paint because it's black but it's all faded so we'll see how it ends up looking and as long as it's black or looks sort of black then <laughs> it'll be good so assuming that it shows up tomorrow the next thing that you're going to see is us throwing that in would you look at that the piece actually showed up and it, it really does like complete the back end. It makes it look good back here and like a little bonus part. I like the way that it flows, how it goes, like it's flat and then it goes in and then it kind of matches up the chassis S13 bumpers, how they have like a shelf on the back. It just kind of like a shelf. I just, I think it looks weird. I actually like the no bumper look. We will be getting a bash bar, no idea when, but a bash bar will be there. I just don't know which one to get. Like, I don't know, do I want like just the basic one? Do I want the jack point? Like, what do I want? Still don't know yet, but fuck dude, I need wider tires. Look at that shit. We got some 205s, that looks weird as hell. <laughs> if I zoom in like that, you can't even tell. It looks meaty like that, but you zoom out and you're like, whoa, what the fuck is going on there, dude? Why is it so skinny? Look at that. There's just so much like empty space next to it like geez i need to get some wider tires but there's other things that need to happen like i have to do a five lug swamp and that's that's uh there's just little things like that 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 add up and it gets annoying so that's that doesn't matter right now what matters is these taillights look fucking good i'm really glad that i finally have them the last thing with the taillights is the wiring and unfortunately that stuff isn't going to show up until next week so for now they're just going to be like aesthetics they're not really going to be doing anything so i'm not sure if i'm going to show the wiring on camera because what i ended up getting was all the plugs for the light bulbs and then i got the adapter harnesses to plug into the us spec chassis harness essentially it's just plugging stuff in and then I actually have to find light bulbs for them because I don't have any. So I don't know if that's worthy of showing on camera. That's it's super simple and super self-explanatory. So probably not. But Monday, our hood pins that we're using on the trunk are going to show up. They're the arrow catch ones with the keyhole. So we'll be able to get those in and that'll be great. I've actually never put those in before. So I'm a little nervous. We have to find a spot 
that would work best and it's gonna go along here. I would have liked to put it here, but if you look there, it's not like flat. So I'll have to see once I get the pins where I actually can put them and then we'll go from there. But yeah, taillights are on and they look so good. Like they really do. Like if you are debating getting these, definitely get them because they're just, they're such an upgrade. The car looks totally different now. But if you can find them for a decent price, definitely pick them up. Don't hesitate. Pick them up the way your car looks completely. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you did. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the taillights. And then hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Peace.